our series, A More Perfect Union, aims to show that what unites us as Americans is far greater than what divides us. The Little League Baseball World Series starts next week, but one team is already making history. The Mamie Johnson Little League team is the first predominantly African-American team from Washington, D.C. to advance to the regional tournament, and it is just a few years old. DeMarco Morgan met the team at the regionals in Bristol, Connecticut. When everyone raced onto the field to celebrate Mamie Johnson's win in the D.C. Little League Championship last month, the team knew they had done something special. What's it like making history? Amazing, exciting, different. Because yeah, really making different. history is like a once-in-a-lifetime thing. Rocco Gilbert, Dewan Taylor, Daniel Marshall, and their teammates came from behind to defeat the Capitol Hill League. They became the first majority black youth team to win the district tournament, setting them on a path towards the Little League World Series. Their win was so meaningful that when it came time to raise money for the 330 mile journey to regionals in Connecticut, the very opponents they beat were among those who donated funds. What does that mean to you to see so many people coming out and just cheering you guys on? That they care about us. Appreciated and I just left in the dust. Just four years ago, the Maybe Johnson Little League didn't exist. Oh boy. And some of its members had never even played baseball. Were you guys interested in playing baseball before the league arrived? No. No. I ain't going anywhere, don't worry. In 2015, the league teamed up with the Washington Nationals Youth Baseball Academy. The mission at the Youth Baseball Academy is to use baseball and softball as vehicles to foster positive character development, academic enrichment, and improved health. I mean, it's not just the 13 boys on this team, it's the whole family here at the Academy. The Academy sits in Ward 7, one of the poorest neighborhoods in Washington, D.C. They think that because we live in Southeast or in Ward 7 that we normally play football and basketball, so it was kind of good to show them that we can play baseball too. What's it like living there? What do you see? Like, like carjacking, stealing, but none of that is really affecting me and stopping me from playing baseball. Mm -hmm. Make sure I stay away from the negativity, stay with the positive. How does it make you feel to know that you are that male figure that's sort of being positive for them and pushing them in the right direction? Is it tough? It's tough, but it's rewarding. Keith Barnes, the founder and president of the league, says his mission extends beyond baseball. Our goal was to change the culture. In that part of D.C., football and basketball is king. To see 300 kids playing baseball and really loving it. And some of the challenges are like they don't have gloves. So we fundraise, we have sponsors. And you never turn a child away who wants never. to play. Never. No child. One day, the Nationals Academy might funnel kids from this community into professional baseball. Less than 10% of Major League Baseball players are African American. And why do you think this program is important for young boys who look like you to be involved? It's important because we could be leaders to the younger kids to make them grow up and like do the same thing we did and be better. It helped me like out not getting in trouble. So you're staying out of trouble as a result? Yes. What do you say to the naysayers, the folks who never thought you would even make it this far? I love my haters. <laughs> when somebody says something negative towards me, it only makes me work harder. Expect the unexpected. One, two, three, get up! Expect the unexpected is right, and while the team won't make it to the Little League World Series after losing their game on Tuesday, bummer, right? Well, they yeah. said they still feel like winners, and a congresswoman, meanwhile, invited them to tour the Capitol, and a D.C. council member is introducing a ceremonial resolution and the team's honor. And guys, i got to be honest with you, I can personally relate to what they're going through, and just to see them power through yes. our futures. And you're right, they're still winners, and we love Rocco and his raspy voice. Yes. Hashtag love my hair. Love my hair. <laughs> Words like to live that. by. He sounds like a Louis Armstrong. A little uh, yes, guys beyond Keith his Barnes. years, they are future leaders. DeMarco, thank you. Thank you, guys.